Welcome to the Laidlaw Leadership Challenge. My name is Alex Donnelly. I'm the Program Manager and Leadership Developer of the Laidlaw Scholarships at the University of St Andrews. I'm delighted that we're joined by scholars from eight of the Laidlaw or the other Laidlaw universities around the world today and I hope this challenge which we've titled Imagining Our Future uh, will, on the one hand, help you to think a little bit further and develop your leadership skills, but I also hope that this day will give you an opportunity to build your network and uh, your collaboration with other Laidlaw scholars across the network. So, why did we come up with this challenge? Now, this year for everybody has been quite challenging at times. Um, and uh, as leadership developers, we always uh, talk together and, and wonder what we can do to help you as scholars to further develop your leadership skills. So at the core of all of this, uh, and, and at the core of every leadership program at each and every one of the universities taking part in the Lay Law program, is a set of leadership attributes. And many of you have already seen these. Um, and we thought around these, we would build the challenge of the day. So I will share the challenge with you and then I'll go over the leadership attributes with you again just as a little reminder um, and to give you the details of what we're asking of you later on today. So the challenge is which one or which ones of the leadership attributes do you think will be especially important in the future and why? Also, how do you think your chosen attributes could best be developed, especially considering the current virtual environment we're in. So how could we go about learning, training, developing these skills, even if we are in a lockdown environment, for example? Now, the Laidlaw leadership attributes that we're talking about, there are eight of them. And um, I'll go through each and every one of them for you briefly. So we've got the leadership abilities. Um, that we try and develop, which is the ability to lead without authority. How do you build up authority? Um, along with this comes the ability to convey purpose and build coalitions. And a lot of this also focuses on emotional intelligence and the capacity for empathy. How do you understand what you need to do or how you need to um, lead other people? The second leadership attribute is self-knowledge and awareness. And a lot of you will have come across this early on in your program when we run uh, development centers or when we get you to complete surveys or questionnaires which help you to learn a little bit more about yourself. Uh, part of this is honestly self-assessing your knowledge and your leadership style and your preference, so being more aware of who you are. Um, with that comes a knowledge of your own limitations and acting accordingly. The final aspect is learning continuously. Um, that's something which we really, I think is important for everybody, but especially for a leader is to constantly learn from what you've done and to reflect on that. The third um, attribute is research and project management. And uh, this looks to the ability to analyze data and interpret results. Uh, to be able to work and think independently, to, to realize what is proper information and what is something that someone's made up. So to prioritize activities and manage your own time comes into there as well. Um, a lot of these things you will have experienced during your summer research projects, for example. But they are very relevant leadership skills as well. Next, we have critical and creative thinking. Um, this is about being able to make effective decisions in a complex environment and this world's getting ever increasingly more challenging and complex. So it's really important to be able to, to sift out or sift through the, the mass of information that you're being bombarded with and, and, and make a proper decision with that. Uh, it looks at uh, seeking and fostering innovation and creativity, building on your strong intellectual ability that you already have, but kind of training and maintaining that, and also about turning ideas into action, because ideas are at the heart of everything, but if you don't turn them into action, then you don't get anywhere with it. It just remains an idea. The next aspect is effective communication. 
uh, speaking and writing clearly and confidently, being able to listen and understand, and especially important now, using digital connectivity to kind of interact with other people, realizing what medium you need to use to interact with other people and, and trying new things as well, which help you to, to bring your message across and to lead others. Collaboration and team working is one that today we're going to test quite a bit. So that's about building relationships and networks. Um, we're, we're going to give you a chance to do both of those in a minute. Uh, it's about working collaboratively and across boundaries, using your emotional intelligence to achieve this, to understand when you need to step up and when you need to take a step back. Um, it's also about capitalizing on the power of diversity and understanding all the different components and the different input abilities of the people in your groups. Resilience, a really key topic, uh, especially now, nowadays, and determination to achieve. This is about energy and impact, making things happen, um, but also being aware of the environment you're in and your surroundings, and, and kind of dealing with these challenges that, that are being thrown at you constantly. Finally, there's social and cultural intelligence and awareness. Uh, this looks at the ability to navigate new and foreign situations and using this ability to build relationships and network. And as I said, we're going to get you to do both of these a little bit more uh, in a minute. Now, here's a repeat reminder of your challenge. Look at the label or leadership attributes. Which one or which ones do you think will be especially important in the future and why? How do you think we could go about better developing these attributes, especially in a virtual environment? Now, what we'd like you to do for this challenge, we've put you into groups of up to four scholars, and we'd like you within your group to go to the sessions um, uh, room within, within the, the, the Hopin software, and you will see your name uh, underneath the group designation, and I also sent you an email with your, your group. And uh, within your group, I would like you to sit for the next two hours and um, discuss the leadership attributes and to come up with an answer to the challenge. And I'd like you to answer the challenge in form of a video, which one video per group, which is no longer than five minutes in length. And once you've done, um, uh, once you've created this video, I'd like you to upload it to the Imagining Our Future Room on the Scholar Network. And this has been specifically created for this challenge. Uh, within that room, this, these videos are going to be publicly accessible. We're also going to have a look through them as all the leadership developers, and we're going to choose a couple of select ones to pass on to Pat and Susanna to uh, hopefully have a look at and um, um, get a, get something like a winner. I don't think there's a right or a wrong answer, but I think there is uh, very good execution possibilities to, to how you might create and address this challenge. Um, and we'll hopefully come, come away with a little prize as well at the end. Uh, you can take the question away with you at the end of today as well. So um, we are, we're going to start off in a minute. Um, once we finish watching this video, or, or if you've watched it in advance, it will be at 3 o'clock UK time. Um, we're going to start with networking, so there will be 20 minutes of networking, and um, during that time you will have four minutes to meet someone from another institution before you will be disconnected and then you can connect again to meet someone else. So I encourage you to use that time and to network with other scholars. And once that has finished, so at 20 past the hour, you will go into your individual rooms. Um, as I say, you've been allocated with groups of up to four people. And uh, within your groups, you will address this challenge. Um, that will run until five o'clock. We've actually got the rooms open until six, so if you'd like to stay a bit longer, that's also a possibility. Uh, if you'd like, you can take the question away at the end of today um, and continue the discussion amongst your group, uh, in which case you'll need to remember to exchange contact details as well because you will no longer have access to these groups or know who's in your group otherwise. Um, alternatively, your group might decide that they um, have an answer and that they've worked on the challenge within these two hours and come up with a video to post already before the end of today. Anyway, the final submission deadline is going to be 12 noon next Sunday, so Sunday the 25th of October. So we will give you a week to, to hash things out if you'd like to put a little bit more work into it. 
here is the link to the room on the Scholars Network, and I uh, will leave you with the instructions as well on um, how to upload the videos into the network if you'd like. Uh, this video will continue to be available on YouTube after the uh, event as well, uh, so you can go back to it and, and look at it if you feel you need to. Right. Um, Finally, if you do have any questions, please do contact the ladleartsandanus.ac.uk email address um, and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, we'll start off as I said, with 20 minutes of networking, uh, make the best of it and meet other scholars within the network. And um, then after that, it's an hour and 40, or if you'd like the extra hour, two hours and 40, that you have your group rooms, uh, they won't be recorded, they're open for your group to discuss and, uh, and share your videos with one another. Um, and then at the end of it, please come up with one video submission for the Scholars Room. Right, I think that's about all for me. I hope you have uh, a really good time and I'm really looking forward to see all the exciting ideas and challenges and things that you come up with. And uh, I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Maybe we'll see some of you for the St. Andrews celebration and poster event uh, that we've also opened up to other institutions and that will also be available or running in this Hopin software that you're seeing right now. Right, enjoy, have a good time. And if you do have any questions, um, ask me or write to one of the technical people uh, within the software as well. So the ACE people are the designated conferencing team of St. Andrews. And they'll be able to help you with any technical issues you're having. Enjoy!